Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to the Creative Council. My name is Natasha and today we're going to be talking about flowers. So in the last video I talked about a plant, but I didn't cover flowers. So I wanted to uh, give some insight to the meaning of flowers and dreams. Typically when you're dreaming, you usually see flowers that are, you know, be growing out of the ground or they're being uh, given to you or they're on an item, they're on uh, clothing, furniture, or some kind of object. So um, just paying attention to the color of the, the flower, um, the type of flower, uh, different flowers bloom in different seasons. And I think I kind of talked about in the, that in the plant video, but different flowers bloom in different seasons. So uh, like, for instance, if you're seeing a, a red flower or a rose, in the middle of the snow in winter. So that indicates it's winter, right? Well, rose is, uh, you know, representation of redemption, of romance and uh, of love, honestly, um, and of Jesus because he is the rose of Sharon. So it could mean, you know, that God is redeeming you in a hard season, a cold season, something that you're going through, or he's in the midst of, uh, Maybe you're going through purification and it feels like winter, but it's really purifying you and it may be a refining season, And but he's in the midst of it with you and um, he is uh, redeeming you and covering you and in covenant with you in that time. It just really depends on the context and the different elements that will uh, help you understand what it means, uh, what that element, what the flower, whatever it may be, means in the dream. If you're receiving or being given flowers, that represents usually care and affection and love. So usually you give someone you love or someone you care about uh, flowers, a bouquet of flowers um, to show them and let them know that you care about them. So that's usually a sign of care. Like I said, you want to think about the colors of the flower. Um, so if like I had someone ask a question about being given yellow flowers, in a dream or whatnot. And also the relationship between the person who's giving you those flowers. Is that a good relationship? Is it a bad relationship? How do you see that person? What's the dynamics of that relationship? But typically they're giving you, um, so yellow flowers, hope, uh, giving you hope because they care about you, giving you, um, helping you, uh, maybe it's, you know, something to do with your mind, something that the way you're thinking, giving you a new way of thinking because they care about you. So it, it depends, like I said, on the different colors and all the other elements, like who's giving it to you, the, uh, uh where are you at, the feeling of it, is it, you know, positive or negative, meaning is it more of a light green or vibrant colors or is it dull and dingy? Um, so thinking about those kind of things is important when you are unpacking a dream. And also flowers are also known for their aroma and their smell. So it could represent um, the aroma, the smell of life, you know, or, or a season. Like I said, springtime is when you smell the, the flowers. Or it could just be simply, you know, the, the cultural references, stop and smell the roses, stop and smell the flowers. It could be you need to stop and slow down and enjoy life and take a moment to breathe and be present. And to just enjoy the fragrance, enjoy the moment. And uh, flowers can also be on objects, like I said. So I had a dream that I was actually wearing a uh, black dress. And the, dra the black dress had all these flowers on it. And um, I was in a field, actually. Uh, and the field looked like late summer, or sorry, late spring. Um, and almost the beginning of summer. And so that just was indicating to me that you know, black uh, usually is some, well, a dress or clothing is something you're walking in, right? So a dress, a black dress, that was showing me that I'm walking maybe into a place that is uh, the unknown, but the presence, the aroma, the smell uh, of, of, of God is with me. He is um, present with me in that. So, and I'm walking in that. I'm walking in his presence. I'm walking in his aroma. He is with me. So it's like his essence is on me in this season, even though I don't uh, necessarily know all that he has for me to walk in. But um, depending on the different, con just different things that can play into the world, uh, to, to the dream. But yeah, so something, a, a flower or it's on an object, a mirror or dresser or furniture, um, think about it, what, what that kind of means to you as well. 
what house it's in, if it's in your parents' house, your house, a house you don't know. So just different things like that. So you want to take all these things into consideration when you're unpacking a dream. But yeah, flowers are really, really cool in dreams. Um, and also look up the the um, the location of flowers too, because that can play a, a um a part in it. If it's a rare flower and it grows somewhere that's rare, that can be an implication too. So you just want to, like I always say, put everything in context, but also really pray through it and um, ask God, what is this meaning? What are you saying in this? And also search the scriptures because you can get a lot out of the scriptures by simply studying, studying your parables, Psalms, Proverbs, and the prophetic books of the Bible.